In Pasco County, a teenage boy caught on convenience store camera just down the street from a vandalized VFW. The same one where detectives tell us the teen and now admits he was the lookout. Tonight, it's a big break in a series of break-ins at VFWs across Pasco and Hernando counties. Our Melanie Michael is live in Pasco and Mel. One arrest made and more to come. Hey, Jen, good evening to you. There is an active search right now for the remaining thieves out there. And with this latest arrest, it just goes to show you in this day and age, you are always on camera. Caught on camera time after time, vandals ransacking and ripping off VFW halls. For weeks, these cruel crooks seen on surveillance, stealing from veterans. And even though the video was good, the getaway was better. The guys never got caught until now. Turns out this casual stroll at a nearby convenience store sealed the deal. Remember the surveillance video you just saw? Well, it just so happens it's right down the street, less than a mile from the VFW that was hit. We're excited about the, the arrest. It's a good break in the case. Uh, there's a lot more work to still be done, and we're working on it. The tips rolled in when this footage came out. It led detectives right where they wanted to go, busting the bad guy, they tell us, who happens to be in high school. He's only 16 years old, Giovanni Gonzalez. In fact, investigators maintain the teen admits he was the lookout and drove this stolen truck. As the chaplain here, I just want to say God is watching you and you will pay. Janet Blydenberg is the chaplain at the VFW just down the street. She told us she heard about the arrest on News Channel 8. Does it feel like a direct slap in the face to veterans to steal from them? Oh, you better believe it. You better believe it. I hope they get the whole crew. And tonight, that teenager is being held in juvenile detention where he will stay for the next 21 days. Meanwhile, as I mentioned, Jen, the search is still on for the remaining part of the crew involved in this case. Jen? Melanie Michael, live in Pasco County for us tonight. Thank you, Mel.